What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Court Autobot, and I'm here today bringing you guys a brand new video. Today's video, guys, I did have something else I was going to do for today's video, but I'll do that for Wednesday's video. Um, mainly because I wanted to take a second and talk about the common community concerns with uh, World War II. And this is more or less me talking about what I've seen a lot of the common complaints with the game. And I'm saying this because I see a lot of people posting things over on Reddit regarding the game. And a lot of these things I agree with. I mean, I'm a sniper, so you guys know when it comes to uh, when it comes to snipers, I'm going to be all for whatever changes they have to do with the sniping to make it better. Now, I've seen a lot of people over on Reddit mainly complaining about the inconsistency with the game, more specifically the hit detection, as well as the... I guess you could say the matchmaking. And the reason that I am bringing these things up, because they're things that I've noticed too. Now, I'm going to be putting a screenshot on the screen right now regarding the hit detection. Now, this is something that I've seen happen with myself. I've actually posted it over on Twitter and stuff like that as well. So, this screenshot right here, guys. As you guys can see, his crosshairs are not on the person. It's happened to me as well, but this is actually at a 9 lives video, so thank you for the screenshot and showing us this as well, because I have noticed it as well. But as you guys can see, his crosshair is not at the center of his screen. This doesn't just happen with the sniper rifles, this happens with other weapons. Yet, his gun, or his bullet, still hits the person. And there's been times when the person was in the crosshair, actually I think I have a screenshot of that as well, so if I do, I'll be putting that up on screen as well, where his crosshair was on the person, but the bullet did not register. And that's because with the ADS rotation within this game, it it throws your gun off center. And I mean, especially on the sniper rifles, I've noticed this. And as of late, because of the inconsistencies with the game, a lot of people have been changing their play styles and their sensitivities. Like, I myself, I am a high sensitivity player. I play 9, 10, 11 pretty well religiously. Since this new update... I just, I can't seem to find it. I mean, I'm I'm still hitting my shots. So I've actually had to turn my sensitivity down to accommodate this new update. I don't know what it is exactly, but I'm not going to go into that. But a lot of people have had to change their play styles with this recent update. And I'm not just talking about snipers. Everything in the game has been thrown off by this new update. A lot of people thought it was a welcome change. And it was. It was a welcome change. A lot of the things that they did, a lot of people would really, really like to see but it's made the game more consistent, more inconsistent than it was before. And that's the biggest thing that people want with this game, is a consistent game. Like, I'm going to talk about matchmaking as well. Like, I'm a third prestige on PS4. There's no reason why I should be going into a lobby team deathmatch by myself and playing against a team of master prestiges, a full team. And it's happened to me on numerous occasions. I mean, I really don't update my block list a lot. I don't go on my PS4 and start blocking people left, right, and center. But it's getting to the point now where if I want good lobbies, I'm going to have to do that because of how inconsistent this game is. You know, and people want a matchmaking system that's going to work and it's going to be consistent. But Sledgehammer is not giving them that. They're more worried about weapon balancing and this and that and this and that. But when it comes to the connection in the game and it, when it comes to the inconsistencies, that's what it all comes down to. They need to worry about the inconsistencies and the matchmaking and the connection within the game before they start making all these changes. One of the things that I proposed, and a lot of people actually upvoted it within the first 24 hours, I think I have like 50 upvotes on Reddit, but it's no longer in the top top post because, you know, there's things that get like 2K and 4K and stuff like that. But my post on Reddit was talking about the weapon balancing within the game and talking about how they want to buff everything except for the sniper rifles, but yet the sniper rifles are the only weapons that are, that are consistent. And as a result of them nerfing the snipers even harder... They're even more, they're, they're just like all the other weapons, they're inconsistent as all fuck now. And one of the things that a lot of people are asking for as well is a disable DLC button, so they can turn off the DLC instead of, you know, like, with the PS4, you can't uninstall the DLC, you have to delete the whole game, and I've tried that as well, deleting the whole game, but I still get the DLC, so I have to factory reset my PS4 if I don't want to play the DLC, or slap it on a USB stick. So there's a lot of things that people are begging Sledgehammer to do, and they claim they listen to the community, but they're not actually going and doing it. So that brings me to the point of everyone, share the fuck out of this video. Let's get Sledgehammer and hold them accountable because this is the reason why their game is dying. I mean, I still enjoy the game. 
but it's getting to the point where it's harder and harder for me to enjoy it because of how inconsistent it is. And I'm sure every one of you guys that watch my videos, you guys can agree that the game is relatively inconsistent. What people want. They want good matchmaking. They want a consistent game with consistent hit detection. And even the aim assist on the regular SMGs and assault rifles is off as well. They want a consistent game, but they can't get that because Sledgehammer is too worried about weapon balancing. They need to fix the servers. They need to... You know, they need to fix the servers, they need to fix the matchmaking, and then they can worry about weapon balancing. Because weapon balancing isn't going to be consistent. If you're playing like I am, and you get a Prestige Master in your lobby every fucking game, or even two or three of them, it's not going to be consistent weapon balancing if the lobbies aren't consistent. And to get consistent lobbies, you have to have consistent matchmaking, which they do not have. They don't have anything in this game set like they did in Black Ops 3 or even Infinite Warfare. The matchmaking in that game was actually relatively consistent. I will say that right now. Modern Warfare Remastered is relatively consistent. Like, all these games have consistent matchmaking, but this game, in terms of consistency, is the worst. And they need to focus on that before they can focus on anything else. I'm no game developer. I've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4. I know what a consistent game looks like. Unfortunately, Sledgehammer is changing all the wrong things. They need to change the right things to make the things that they're changing better. All the changes that they've made, I'm not against them. They just need to focus on... The consistency before they start making any more changes. Otherwise, the game is just going to go to shit even faster. The player counts are down as a result of all the changes that they're making without focusing on the things that need to be done. That's all I got to say. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. I always appreciate it, and please guys share this video. If you guys do the channel, be sure to subscribe as well. I'm going to have a 100% accuracy free-for-all video coming out on Wednesday, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, it's been your boy Corey, your Autobot, and I'm out. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brassy girls everywhere. Titty ass hands in the air. Somebody over here. Shaking for the